in brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, Green Lantern's light, and Jon Stewart will join the fight. What's up, guys, and welcome to the web's first must-see comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to the comic universe. I'm Dr. J. I've got a PhD in nerd culture, and I should know, I printed out myself. I feel like I'm doing this every single day now. There is a new piece of crisis news, you guys. Like, this crossover just continues to get more and more massive and epic. First, we get the confirmation of Black Lightning. Then, we get freaking Kevin Conroy, Batman, or Bruce Wayne, whichever way you want to put it. There's a possibility of Mark Hamill. Not going to talk about that fully in this video. Don't worry, I will talk about it later. And now, here is the big news. After years and years of theorizing, constant teases from the actor, and just hopes prayers and dreams the nerd gods have answered us ladies and gentlemen of the universe john stewart will be coming to the arrowverse for crisis on infinite earths played by david ramsey the actor who plays john diggle now you know slight spoiler for last year's crisis as well as last season of arrow but last season of arrow we actually met john diggle's stepfather who was played by ernie hudson you know aka winston from the ghostbusters he is a five-star general in the army and his name is general stewart so you know there's a big hint at that there and then in the Elseworlds crossover, we see 90s Flash, you know, John Wesley Ship as Barry Allen show up and he appears in front of our, you know, Arrowverse team with Flash, Team Arrow, and all of them. He sees John, he sees John Diggle, and he goes, Where's your ring? So that was a huge hint that on another earth quite possibly the same earth that john wesley ships flash is from john diggle actually takes his stepfather's last name and is john stewart and becomes a green lantern not just a green lantern the green lantern now personally my boy is Kyle Rayner because that is the Green Lantern that I read in the comics when I was a kid and I first started reading Green Lantern because it was the 90s and that was when Kyle first you know came about I was a wee lad of like maybe five or six just barely starting to learn to read honestly and that's like my guy however I know a lot of people who grew up on the Justice League cartoon, and that's how they got into the DC Universe and DC Comics in the first place. And they have mad love for Jon Stewart, and that's to be expected. Jon is amazing, especially that interpretation of Jon from the Justice League cartoon. Now, in the comics, he's just as much of a badass, but... That cartoon, it made him absolutely iconic. Like, that almost rose him to the status above Hal Jordan. Most people my age don't even, like, put Hal in the same conversation because John was that much of a part of our childhoods. You know, Hal had been dead for over a decade by the time like Justice League had started. So not many people really know about Hal unless you're a hardcore Green Lantern fan. And if you remembered Hal at the time, he went psycho and basically wiped out, you know, 
with Coast City wiped out, he went completely crazy and he went evil and almost destroyed the DC universe. But then he redeemed himself by rebooting the sun. It was a whole thing. But yeah, John Stewart is going to be in this crisis, you guys. That opens up so many different possibilities. Now we know that the Green Lantern Corps is out there. We actually can open up the final frontier to the Arrowverse. You know, we've traveled through time. We've dealt with magic a little bit on Legends. Now we actually have the possibility of going into space. Of course, I want to save a more in-depth talk for a future video I have coming up in a couple days but this just really opens up the universe man it really expands the possibilities of everything there is so much more we can do and Krypton has proven that you can do a space show and do it justice without absolutely breaking the bank now not to say that Krypton's budget is small because seriously with the effects they pull they have to have a pretty decent budget but it's still a TV budget and they absolutely kill it so, with the Arrowverse, you know, trying to go all out and with CW still trying to remain relevant with the fact that TV is almost, most certainly on its way out given the rise of streaming services and stuff, but that's a whole nother conversation for another time. They really need to step their game up to keep their audience engaged and involved and they're basically putting all their cards on the table for this. This crisis could shift the entire Arrowverse and set up the next 10 years. You know, we've had 10 years of the Arrowverse and that's kind of crazy to say, or at least almost 10. And I think with Crisis as this major turning point, this could be the event that sets up the next decade, or at least half a decade worth of Arrowverse stuff, man. Like, the possibilities are absolutely endless. I mean, with the Green Lantern sector of the universe alone, pun intended, there are so many things you can explore. I mean, you can finally actually investigate Thanagar. You know, we've seen the Hawk people in Legends and they were kind of poorly treated, but with Green Lantern in the mix, you can finally fix that. And there are so many different possibilities. I mean, we already have space and stuff addressed with shows like Supergirl and, you know, aliens, you know, immigrating to Earth and all that type of stuff. So, like, it's not something the Arrowverse hasn't done before, but it's definitely new territory to further explore it beyond the lens of just Earth, right? This opens up an entirely new frontier, man. Like, and Jon Stewart as the lead character. Again, you can bring in so many fans with that because of just the iconic sta status of that character because of the Justice League cartoon and how much he means to so many people. It's going to be great. There's such a huge opportunity that the Arrowverse has to work with this. And I cannot wait to see what happens. And I'm sure David Ramsey can kill it because he is a phenomenal actor. He does such a great job as John Diggle. And he already has a lot of like John Stewart's mannerisms as Dig. So I think it will be really interesting to see the difference in Diggle and Stewart, right? Because obviously he's not going to play just the same character in a different costume. So it's going to be really cool to see how both Johns react to each other. It's going to be really dope. And could you imagine like an Infinity War moment where maybe like during the fight in Crisis, like Jon Stewart gets his ring knocked off of him or something somehow, and then it's on the ground. Diggle gets up. He puts the ring on his finger. And he gets the power up and kicks some butt. 
dude, that would be epic. Now, I'm not saying it's on the level of cap wielding Mjolnir, but come on, you gotta admit, that would be pretty freaking cool. But yeah, again, I just cannot contain the hype for this crossover, man. Like, this is going to be one of the biggest moments in comic book television history. And you know what? If it fails, you got me on record here hyping it up. So I will take some of the responsibility for hyping you guys up for this. But I honestly have some really strong faith. They're putting all their cards on the table here. They're gonna go as all out as they can. I mean, this is Arrow's final crossover. The series that started it all, you gotta go big for this. But let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. Are you as hyped as I am? Are you even more hyped? Let me know in the comments as always. We always appreciate your feedback. Don't forget to leave this video a like so that you know you enjoyed it. The likes really do help. They help spread the video all throughout the algorithm so they get recommended to fans like yourself. So definitely share the video. It really does help. We appreciate it. And if you like what we do here and you want to see more from myself, C-Dubs, or DPZ, be sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe button so you get notified every time we upload new videos. We've got content almost daily news pieces reviews a bunch of different stuff so again if you like us and you want to see more of us be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell we really appreciate it in the outro card i will leave linked a video youtube and serious algorithm things you might like which i hope you do and i will leave linked our latest upload in case you're new to the channel and want to see what we have to offer here in the universe but until next time guys this is jay from message reviews and like i always say once comic geek always comic geek and once an arrowverse fan always an arrowverse fan good evening sector 2814 I'll catch you later, and hopefully, I'll see you guys next time in the universe.